On Friday 14th of March, 1879, a boy was born. But unlike most of other boys, he had problem with speaking. So he didn't speak until three years of age and it even took him several more years after that before he could speak fluently. He didn't just have a problem speaking, he also couldn't read. He didn't read until he was seven years of age. Needless to say, elementary school was a struggle for him which led to many people suspecting him of being retarded. It's been told that when his school teachers asked him a question, he took forever to answer, even silently mouthing the words to himself before slowly speaking them out loud. In fact, many people believed he would never succeed at anything. But they were wrong because the boy was going to become one of the greatest scientists to ever live. That boy was the great Albert Einstein who later developed the theory of relativity, one of the two pillars of modern physics alongside quantum mechanics. Today if you go to Google and type the word genius, Albert Einstein's image is the first you see. How can a boy who didn't speak until 3 and who wasn't able to read until 7 become the world most famous physicist? How can the name of the boy once called retarded later become synonymous with genius? Here's the thing. You are far more powerful than any human can ever imagine. They may judge you based on your physical deficiency but they can't really understand what you are made up of because your real strength is within you. Disregarding the ignorant voices No matter who you are in life, as long as you grow up in this world that's filled with negative and pessimistic people, someone will tell you that you are weak, stupid or retarded. Sometimes it's your teacher, sometimes it may be your siblings or even your parents. This is one thing I need you to understand. What anyone says about you is their opinion. It doesn't matter nor does it affect you in any way except you allow it to affect you. In fact, the negative things people say about you can be a source of inspiration for you. For instance, when my elder brother told me that I cannot be successful as an entrepreneur, I was determined to prove him wrong so I read every book I could find about entrepreneurship and worked harder. Whenever I remembered his words, I felt like I was in a battle with someone. I felt like someone has invited me to fight and promised to kill me. I felt like I have someone I needed to defeat and that was my brother. Today I've defeated him because I actually did what he said I cannot do and his negative words about me were one of the reasons why I was able to achieve what I achieved. You must learn how to prove people wrong. You must learn how to believe in yourself regardless of what anyone in the past has ever told you. The reason for that is simple. We all become who we believe we are capable of becoming. Roy T. Bennett said, Don't let others tell you what you can't do. Don't let the limitations of others limit your vision. If you can remove your self-doubt and believe in yourself, you can achieve what you never thought possible. At the end of it all, you are the only person who can stop you. What other people can do is to weaken your self-esteem by their words and judgments of you and that can only happen if you allow their voices to matter to you. Even Albert Einstein was obviously disadvantaged. Even though he couldn't speak until age 3, even though he couldn't write until age 7, even though he applied to the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology but failed the entrance examination and had to take it a second time before he was admitted to the school. Even though the school rejected his doctoral dissertation and called it irrelevant and fanciful. Even though it is said that Einstein often forgot simple things such as making sure he put on his socks before shoes and it is also told that he misplaced de payroll check because he used it as a bookmark in his research. Even though many scientists throughout the world ridiculed him and attacked his theories calling them worthless and useless and they even went as far as saying that Einstein does not have a logical mind. Regardless of all of Einstein's setbacks and rejections by the general public and education, he continued his studies and worked on his theories and Einstein went on to become a professor at the University of Zurich and later a professor of theoretical physics at Prague. He then went on to prove to all of the doubting, really clean scientists throughout the world that he did have a brilliant mind by winning the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1921. 
The world is yours to conquer. You have the strength to fight and win. Stop thinking about what your teachers have said about you. Stop worrying about your siblings. Stop worrying about what your siblings have said about you. Stop believing the doubting Thomases. Instead, be determined to prove them wrong. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Are you between the ages of 15 and 40? Then, we invite you to join our new channel which was specially created to share with you inspiration and life's lessons to succeed in life. We call it Under 40 TV. Kindly look at the description box to join the Under 40 TV. We love you.